He's straight. Can you imagine yeah, a straight yeah, white uh, male? <laughs> How fucking weird is that? No. White guys. We're fucking live, all right? We're fucking live. We're live. Yeah. You are. I'm not. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, transgenders and cisgenders, bisexuals and non-binaries, welcome to White Guys. Hey, <laughs> what's up, guys? Welcome back, welcome. buddy. Man, it's, it's been, been a hot minute. It's been way too long. It's been a little bit of time, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been a little <sighs> bit, yeah. It's about four weeks, I think. Yeah, the best weeks. The most news-filled weeks. <laughs> mm. Well, I mean, I was going to say it's, it's kind of uh, good that we took the break when we did because not a lot of stuff happened. Yeah. There's not really anything newsworthy going on. There's nothing to talk What are we going to talk about? <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I mean, for one, I hadn't, listeners, watchers, uh, I have not had electricity in the house for about four weeks. <laughs> we had a tree come down and take down my power lines. It was a whole thing. Um, we went to the beach. White guys went to the beach yeah, that in that time, fun. then that came home. I still didn't have power. Nope. Yeah. Then I went to the beach again still, and came I, home I came and still didn't have power. No, power. <laughs> no activity, no power. So I don't even know where you guys want to start or what do you want to talk about, but I, it's been a boring, boring couple of weeks. Oh, did you I mean, did you, you hear that thing about Trump and the like? What what happened with that? <coughs> oh yeah, they tried to. Uh, they tried to pierce his ear. Try to take him out, didn't they? They thought he was at the piercing pagoda. <laughs> yeah, at the mall. <laughs> yeah, the uh, CIA's at it again. <laughs> Clowns. The whole thing's a little sus, no? A little bit. Just a little. I, I mean, know. you know, it's a protection 101 just to fucking <laughs> scope out the buildings and have coverage. And You would think so? Yeah. What so, was it, 150? It was less It was less than that. It was 140 feet. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I can I, hit him with a fucking rock from there. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, come on. I found out totally by chance we were actually I was at the beach and we were going to see a a band play of friends of my mom's and we stopped into the beer store to buy a six pack and the ladies in there it had just happened like three mi- minutes before and they were watching it live on their phone and yeah. it's like what's going on they're like somebody just shot Trump I was like what yeah and so I stood in there for like a minute or two and uh and my mom and the kids were in the truck and came back out. I'm like, what took what took you so long? I was like, somebody just tried to assassinate Trump. My mom just about had a nervous breakdown. Jeez. So I had to tell my kids the lesson is like you always stop for beer because you never know what you yeah. might learn <laughs> yeah. in the beer store. Exactly. <laughs> and then and you have something to help cope I mean, cope with. It. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then we went to this funny like you know geriatric uh, music show where everybody was in a golf cart, which was. It was a new musical experience. I've had a lot of musical experiences, but I've never been to a concert where every single person was sitting in a golf cart to watch the show. All right. So it was cool, but my mom couldn't keep her mind off of it, and we we stayed for a little while. And she was like, "I gotta, I gotta go home. I gotta watch the news. I gotta see what's going on." Yeah. So, I don't know how. How did you guys hear about it? I was at my sister's house. My brother-in-law says, hey, "There's some fireworks are going off over there. Some, some something hit Trump." I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. And they fucking shot him. <laughs> That's how fireworks. Yeah. But, you know, thank God he's uh, invincible. And he has cat-like reflexes. It sure does. Dodge bullets like that? What the fuck, man? I mean, when you look at that animation, yeah. the 3D animation of the angle of the bullet, and when he turns his head, yeah. I mean, it's like that could have been. So, he, so he is the one. We're saying it was like God Seems, like stepping in. I mean... It's kind of seems like it. I mean, yeah. But I was telling my kids, I mean, well, actually, it was my mom that brought it up. She was like, you guys are are witnessing history happen right now. And this is like, and she told my kids the whole story about where she was when Kennedy got assassinated. And how she remembers that, you know, and then I brought up the check challenger. And uh, then we talked about how, like, apparently... You know, you saw the testimony from Kimberly Cheadle, the head of the, the uh, SS, yeah. who was like, uh, well, you know, there was a safety issue because 
There was a sloped, sloped roof. Yes. And then that that whole Secret Service motto came out, which I had never heard before. If if the roof has a slope, we say nope. Yeah. And I thought about it. I was like, that grassy knoll had a little bit of a slope it did. to it. Oddly enough, also, the, uh, the rooftop where the counter snipers were actually positioned had a much steeper slope. It sure did. So that's, uh, you know, some holes in that story. There's some holes in it. Yeah, well, we all know, you know, why the Secret Service wasn't up there, because the CIA was already up there. Why have the CIA and the Secret yeah, Service right. on the same rooftop? Right. Well, so, I mean, what do you guys think about this kid? Because it's like, it's the typical story, like 20-year-old loner, nerdy kid, ostracized at school, no friends, may or may not have been radicalized online, but supposedly there's nothing about his social media. Yeah, no social I media. Just saw so I far. just saw it but... today. Um, the FBI lied once again and said that he had a Gab account and that he was fervently anti uh, immigration. He was a right wing extremist. Oh. If you go to the actual account, there's screenshots of it. No, he was a leftist for immigration. So they're already trying to paint. They're, they're trying to paint him as a right wing extremist. No, it was a Republican yeah. that shot him. He was registered Republican. Right. So Did you more gaslighting, the, which doesn't mean anything. It means like, nothing. That's, that's been a whole move. For, he's 20 years old. He's probably never voted. Right. But he has donated money to Democrats. Yeah. So it's just more gaslighting. Just like Kamala's fucking great and J.D. Vance is weird. The thing I can't figure out is like, because there's that footage he was in that BlackRock commercial. Yeah. And then it came out that he was actually maybe somehow or not trained by BlackRock. Weren't you telling me something about that? There was. I didn't see that. I thought there was some other evidence. He was like on a shooting team or some shit, but. He wasn't good, so he got kicked off. Dude, I went down the whole rabbit hole of BlackRock. Like, yeah. it's crazy. Like, did you see the um like Trump's main uh like I don't know shares or whatever it may be, but they they shorted it, like oh I did see that like three hundred and forty yeah. million dollars right before right before yeah the kid was in the BlackRock video and now there's a leaked image that the, it looks like the CEO of BlackRock walking with this kid with, with a gun yeah yeah yeah. Um, and then now BlackRock, since this all didn't work, BlackRock, BlackRock put in a um, audit stating that they put one too many zeros <laughs> on the shares and got it switched. Yeah, yeah. Now after this all, I mean, it was a setup. BlackRock Black Rock is part of the evil empire. Yeah, well, just like Vanguard is. Have and, you have you have you ever gone down the rabbit hole and like try to trace? The CEOs of who actually controls BlackRock? They're all Jews. Well, it, it goes it goes <laughs> it goes back really far, and um, like it goes to different billionaires. But da 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 da. And yeah. then once you get to like the end of it, no one's listed. Like they go through like fifty uh, percent here. Then that who who owns that fifty percent? You just keep going back, and then like you can't trace it. It's yeah, all, it all goes back to the Rothschilds. It's a convoluted. Yeah, but the, you know the thing. So okay, so take all that, and then. I think the natural step, logical step then is like, okay, well, were they grooming this kid somehow to yeah. set him? Okay, but then what are the likelihood, what's the likelihood that Trump would have picked Denver, Pennsylvania, where this kid was, mm -hmm. right? They, how far ahead did he announce his schedule? How far ahead did they know he was speaking there? Like, maybe do they have... You know what I'm saying? How do they know they have different he was going to be there places. and this kid was going to be there? Or is the bigger story like, exactly, maybe they have groomed people yeah. all over the country for a situation like this. And when someone happens to be speaking near there, that's when they can activate, activate them. Well, no, it's yeah. probably the Secret Service tipped them off because I'm sure that before Trump announces to the general public where he's going, the Secret Service is the first to know. Months ahead, they supposedly scoped the sites. Yeah, and so so therefore, if BlackRock's involved with the Secret Service, Secret Service is involved against this kid, it, it just makes right. sense. But what I'm saying is like, he, if if the story is that he's been, you know, groomed to be, to do this, that would have had to have happened a much longer time ago Yeah. than just... Well, he's 20 years after. old. Trump's been in the public... I since 2015 yeah they've been wanting to take him out since then yeah they probably grew many people to do this and probably not just trump but many other people they, they could take out it's always good to have assets sure yeah we're going down a rabbit hole in this yeah 
I just thought it was wild because he was, I mean, he was from that area. Like he went to that. It couldn't have been a better setup. That high school. You know? A rooftop 140 yards away with a perfect vantage point to him. No obstructions. Right. Like what the fuck, man? Almost anybody can make that shot. But yet he was also kicked off his high school rifle team. Yeah, for being a bad shot. But yeah, but like from that distance, <laughs> I guess you could still you, you be really a bad shot. You really don't need that much yeah. training to be able to do that. But this seemed like there was another thing where there was someone on the water tower too, so there might have been more than just it's possible. Yeah, I did see. I saw really that good. mention too, and yeah. then I didn't see any any yeah, follow up with that. Some footage like of like a potential person on the water tower. So it's it's kind of like the same thing with JFK. It's like there's multiple people. Yeah. And then did you hear about the like the agent that finally did take the shot was like had him apparently in his sights for like three minutes and yeah and waited until he fired the shot yeah and well I think he was told not to take the shot by the head of he was to, yeah he didn't he didn't get the go ahead yeah to yeah. take it he yeah. was ready to do it but they knew about this guy for quite a so, while yeah I don't like know. and then you have the yeah. footage of the like the people in the crowd like like yeah. oh, this guy on the roof and apparently yeah. like the two cops lifted their way up there and had a gun pointed in their it's face like, a, like a, at least a half hour before there was cops like moving people <clears throat> away from that building yeah don't go near this building they knew he was up there yeah. It's all they wanted to kill Trump. It's all bullshit. I don't trust anything anymore. Like there's, there's like it's so easy to say that at this. And the media was, won't talk about up. it now. Never trust. You don't hear about it in the media. Yeah. No. Well, did you see the thing about Google in the past couple of days? Yeah. If you Google Trump, it comes up Harris Trump. Well, it, well, not even not even that. But if you try to Google assassination attempt, um, it comes up like none of the Trump results. Yeah, no Trump results come up. Yeah. Like the uh, the most recent results are from some assassination attempt on Harry Truman. Yeah, yeah, they're they're trying. And to And then they somehow they this. they must have because a bunch of people were posting videos of actually doing a Google search and like yeah. nothing comes up for Trump. Yeah. Well, and then it, they must have swished it back because they were like, well, oh all, shit, it, people. It, it was all staged by Trump. Let's just make that clear. He did a WWF move. And yeah, while he's right. down there, cut his ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all fake bullshit. All to make Trump look like a hero. Ugh, he's so desperate, winning in the polls and all. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I'm so down that we let's let's stage an assassination attempt. Yeah, that'll that. like really get me people talk because nobody's been talking about me. Yeah, I was talking about him all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he shows up at the RNC two days later. Yeah. Fucking which was amazing. Giga Chad that he is. I got to watch that down at the beach too, which was phenomenal. I don't care what people say about. The cheesiness of Hulk Hogan showing up, I thought it was fucking perfect. That was amazing. Because I've always said that politics is just WWF for ugly people. Yes. For weak, ugly people with actu no actual contact, you know? Yep. So why not, like, lean into it? I don't care. Yeah. He was like, I feel like that was a cookie for all us Gen X people yeah. who watched Hogan growing up and then to see him come out and Trump mania, brother. Why not? Fucking do it. Go all in. Dude, I got so hard watching that. Yeah, I know you did. It's <laughs> all. Oh. I felt the disturbance in the force. I was Ooh. like, I think he's. That's a gravitational right pull now. coming towards Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you saw Trump was um, playing golf the next morning. No, he wasn't. That was a fake video. That was a fake. It was a video from prior to that, and they tried to say, "Oh, he's golfing with no bandage yeah. on his ear." Yep. No, I thought I saw him golfing with the bandage on his ear. No, he wasn't golfing the next day. That's been debunked. I think it was pretty I believe that, that everybody had like a fake bandage on my I'm gonna start wearing a fake bandage. <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? You did it too? Mike. Oh, in there. Yo, the fake bandage shit. No, I didn't. Silly. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's like wearing a MAGA hat. <laughs> it's a new MAGA. We fucked up. We should have had some on tonight. Should have. <laughs> What's that? Some bandages. Stop, bandage. Stop it. <laughs> Yeah, in my shorts, I got a bandage on. You see the the, the Paul brothers hat. trying to buy Trump's hat? No. On his podcast? No. Yeah, they're, they're, um, they were going back and forth. They're like, well, Jake's going to see Trump here in a couple of days, so when uh, when you see him, give him the bid. Um, I'll buy it. Logan was like, I'll buy his hat for a million dollars. And Jake's like, fuck you, I'll buy it for two million. And they're like, <laughs> all right. They're going back and forth. They're like, all right, let's half it at $12 million, $12 million for the hat. And you're like, no, that's fair. It's staying in the family forever. Insane. It's priceless now. Wow. I mean, he's worth billions of dollars. Yeah. I don't think you need to sell a hat. Yeah. <laughs> made in China. It's not made in China. You fucking communist. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your whore mouth. <laughs> Somebody said that ear bandage looked like a Mike Lindell pillow. And I, I had to laugh at that one. It's like, that's the new my pillow. Oh. <laughs> new my ear Tiny pillow. Tiny little pillow. Just lay down wherever you want. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, what the hell? It's been so long. Like, what what else has been happening? Um, you know, we have a new, new uh, Democratic candidate. Uh, oh, pa- right. So we had an assassination attempt, and then we had a coup, yes. a silent coup yes. on the other side of the aisle. The party that's been lecturing us for how many years now about the end of democracy, about yeah. how if Trump gets elected, democracy will cease to exist in this country, it will. just decided to silently remove their presidential candidate and put someone else in there that, who no one voted for who's never gotten a single vote no so not a single delegate that's the way you save democracy ladies yes. and gentlemen okay yep and they're all for these fucking sheep are all for it they love it they love it she, she went from the the least popular vice president arguably of all time yes to all of a sudden the savior the amount of gaslighting okay. going on right now is off the charts i've never seen it it's you like her though right of course he likes you her. like none of them. You fucking <laughs> cock. I'm not into any of this shit. Like, uh, you tell me. I, yeah, I just, I think it's all horse shit. I thought you sent a donation to that white guys for Kamala I group. did like a <laughs> semen sample. Oh, you said yeah. that? Oh, nice. <laughs> to, nice. Well, John. you probably just upped the, the yeah. testosterone level of that whole group yeah. by a, a thousand well, it percent. Actually, yeah. It wasn't liquid. It was like powder. <laughs> oh, you dehydrated it? Yeah, yeah, that's why I've been drinking a lot of coconut water. Uh-huh. Those electrolytes. Did you just fall out of a coconut tree? Fell right on there, <laughs> and cracked. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not into any of them. I think it's all horse shit. You gotta make yeah. fun of it though. Well, no, you, yeah, it's, it's. I just, I don't know. It just doesn't make any. None of it's, it's, it seems like it's all nonsense. Like you said, like, can't, you know, whatever. It's come on. Yeah. You know what's it, Obama coming back? What's going on? Well, he never left. I've been waiting. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think he's dressed up as Biden, and I don't know why he walked off. Biden. We haven't. The Democratic National Convention has not happened yet. So yeah, she's not officially the not, candidate. Uh, she's mm. not officially the candidate. Like, no. they could still pull another crazy move at the DNC. You could Gavin that, Newsom. That's yeah. that's ninety million dollars, though. They're not gonna walk away from that. <sighs> that's, I, uh, I heard the funny thing about the, all that money she supposedly raised. Like the first day, it was what it. She didn't really, really raise that. It was just money that was frozen that got released. Yeah, yeah who know, Like, who fucking cares? Nobody wakes this cunt. When she went to, she went to. What was it New York? And she had to have Megan Thee Stallion come out and perform so that people would come into the stadium to watch her. As soon as Megan Thee Stallion was talk, done talking about pussy and dicks, the fucking people started leaving. Yep. They as soon as Kamala started talking, they were hitting the doors. Right. They don't care about her. Free that Megan Thee Stallion show. Fucking black Indian cunt. Fuck her. <laughs> We have to bleep some of this. <laughs> Sorry, no bleeping. All right, no bleeping. Fuck you, YouTube. <laughs> so I keep forgetting to mention this, but uh, uh, listeners who really pay attention to the background may notice that the the LP selection on the back wall here changes in each episode, and I try to make them relevant to what we may be talking about tonight. And tonight we actually had no game plan at all. We're just jumping in, just free balling it. But I figured we'd probably talk about Kamala. So I have a couple classical Indian records up here in the background because as far as I've known forever, Kamala Harris has been an Indian woman. Yes. I, she even looks Indian. And um, I figured, you know, <clears> like... If you smell her, she smells Indian. She, she, yeah, she does. Yeah. There's that cumin... Curry. Curry. Curry, faint smell of fecal shit. matter. Yeah. yeah. All mixed together, yeah. Yeah. Um, Copious amounts of uh, cum. I figured... She's a whore. <laughs> I figured I should probably work on a Kamala voice, though, just for the off chance that she might get elected and we can have to talk about out? her. For... So I, I've been working on it. It's not fine-tuned yet, but um, I'm going to give it a shot. Do it. <clears throat> My fellow Americans, I am Kamala Harris. I am running for president of the United States. Um, you may think, don't be... Fooled by uh, my voice or my uh, name, but I am black. I am blacker than blackity black. I am so black. You have never seen anyone so black as me. Send boobs. <laughs> sound like Borat. <laughs> Send <laughs> boobs. Like, sound like Borat. Where's your Borat bathing suit? That'll be, I think we were doing it in the Borat. So it's not cool. there yet, but. Yeah. Serve me a little curveball there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a fucking mango lassi right now, asshole. I d- enjoy smoke b- lots of bongs and listen to Tupac. Uh, I love all the gangster, real gangster shit. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Send boobs. <laughs> I have boobs. 
<laughs> Show boobs. <laughs> I send bubs on the vagine. <laughs> You're making him uncomfortable. Now nah, I'm just I'm exhausted. You got I'm like I'm trying. I'm trying. You just got to vibe, Kenny. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm just keeping my mouth shut. If I don't have anything nice to say, I don't say it. Fucking say it. Well, that's boring. I know it isn't. <laughs> it's fucking boring. Yeah. I'm just waiting to pop off. It's let something it, to pop off. Let yeah. it rip. Hop, 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 hop. We just keep pumping them up. Just pump yeah. up the jams. Pump it up. Yeah. Get the penis pump, boys. We're going to town. Rumor, rumor has it, Kenny is getting laid again. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's so chill. <laughs> um, I was up all night with Harris. <laughs> that's his name. Yeah. Kamala Harris. Mm. Come on, you Harris. Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> we mm. do have, I did pull, I managed to, even though we didn't have any kind of show notes tonight, I did manage to pull two clips in the five minutes before we started. Uh, do you want to pop up the one of Trump? So Trump, this is just from today. Trump spoke at some... National Association of Black Journalists. So we've I don't know, some kind of just like self segregating group of yeah, blacks race, that bunch of racist like maybe may or may not be racist. Uh, some of your own supporters, including Republicans on Capitol Hill, have labeled Vice President Kamala Harris, who is the first black and Asian American woman to serve as vice president and be on a major party ticket as a DEI hire. Is that acceptable language to you? And will you tell those Republicans and those supporters to stop it? How do you how do you define DEI? Go ahead. How do you define diversity, it? equity, inclusion? Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Is that what your definition? Give that me, is that that is. Give me a definition the then. Would you give me a definition DEI. of that? Give me a definition sir, of that. Sir, I'm asking you a question. No, no, a you very have to define question. it. Define the define it for me if you. I would. just defined it, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say no. I think it's maybe a little bit different. So. Uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much, <laughs> and she was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. <laughs> so I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She has always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she either black one. College. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't. <laughs> because she was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she all went. The way. She became a black person. Just a to black. Somebody should look into that too when you ask. A continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. Oh, hostile, <laughs> nasty tone. I love it. She became a black. A black. So, and then there's another clip that went viral today of him while that woman was looking the opposite direction. He actually picked up her water bottle. And I didn't see what led up to it, but people were like, oh, Trump grabs the interviewer's water bottle while she's not looking and tightens the lid on it. Ah. But if you look at the video, he turns it counterclockwise. He's yeah. not turning it count. So I wonder, I haven't looked yet. I wonder if there was a shot of her struggling to open the water and he oh. just grabbed it and just cracked the seal and right. put it back. What a for fucking it. Chad move. <laughs> that's that's 40 chess. <laughs> oh, and then she became black. Black. The black. I didn't know. I didn't know that worked like that. Black is the new China. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Biden, Biden himself said that he was looking for a black woman to run as vice president. And then isn't that the very definition of a DEI hire? That is the definition of a diversity, equity, and inclusion hire. Yes. If you say I am looking to hire someone based on these specific traits that have nothing to do with their qualifications. qualifications for the job. If you just say, and that's exactly what he said. He said, yeah. my vice presidential pick will be a black woman. Yes. And then he said it again for a Supreme court pick. I yeah. will pick a black woman, which yes. he did. And Katanji Brown Jackson Jackson is actually black. Yes. As opposed to Kamala. Yeah. Um, I know if I'm hiring, the last person I'm hiring is a black woman. <laughs> They are the most worthless people on the planet. End of story. Period. So you have no problem with Kamala? No, she's Indian. Because she's Indian. Yeah, she's good at IT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But black women? 
No, they're the bottom of the barrel when it comes to hiring. <laughs> no. Re- resume thrown right the fuck out. I mean, they're great. They're great in customer service positions. Oh, though, phenomenal. I've always had they great are. customer service. Always. From Black always. Women. That's the yeah. only thing I would hire them for. <laughs> as a matter of fact. <laughs> customer yeah. or like uh, position at the DMV. Yeah. Would be great. Of course. They're very kind and cordial. Yeah. And they want to provide great service to people. They really care. When I was dealing with Pico over those four weeks that I have power, I talked to a few black women in the office. I'm surprised and, it took four, a month for you to and, get service. Uh, hey, it took me a month to get power back, yeah. so I'll let you connect the dots. And Fuck it, this shit. I ain't here to do, do this shit. <laughs> they got it back by accident. Nope. I'm, well, just, we, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get out of here, man. I don't want to fucking be here. What do we mm. think? Is, is Kamala is Kamala black? Is Kamala Indian? Is she, Kamala she, is so a, whatever Indian. Kamala wants to be. I, I think she's confused. So Indian. Yeah. She might be just confused. She might not know. Coming from a Native American, she is Indian. Why are you speaking? Yeah. Yeah. Indian. 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 That's what I've always thought. Yeah, I think she's. A, I think she's. A, but it's really whatever she wants to be. But well, her all, mother was Indian. Her mother's name was Shamala. What, 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 I don't know if you know Shamala? that. Her mother's name is Shamalo. Get the fuck out I'm of here. I'm serious. You're just making shit up. No, now. I'm not. It's serious. God damn it. Her name is Shamala. God She's damn, a... we are living in I... simulation. <laughs> My fuck. daughter will be named Kamala. Kamala. <laughs> I am Shamala. She is Kamala. Uh, par- I have to stop you because the way you're pronouncing her name is racist. Kamala? Kamala. 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 No, he, Shamba, say, Shambhala. Kamala. On the road to Shambhala. Ooh. I can smell the curry. Hey, yeah, 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 mm. yeah. It's like a mist entering the room. <laughs> it's a good song. I, I don't know, today. man. I did see a thing where if you're pronouncing her name in any way, it's racist. Whatever, however you pronounce it. Yeah. You pronounce if you just racist. try to pronounce it, yeah. it's racist. Yeah. <laughs> you're just supposed to call her Madam President. Exactly. Yeah. She's the best president ever. <laughs> mm. um, oh, Mindy Kaling. You all remember her as one of the most annoying characters on The Office. Ugliest Indian on the planet. She basically played herself on The Office. She did. And she had some other remember show. The, remember the first episode that, where she was very Indian? Yeah. <laughs> I know. And they fucking switched it up to yeah. where she was like a wannabe Kardashian. Right. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to tone this down a little bit. So she had... I don't know if... She, she normally has a cooking show. I don't f- keep up with her, but uh, she watch? she she did a cooking episode with um, Madam President recently, and we got a we got a clip of that too that might might uh, decide this for us. Well, they, whether, they only let her have one show a year because of smell. Whether Mrs. K is <laughs> yeah, the studio can't be used by anybody else. No, they air it out for a year. Yeah. But uh, yeah, she's kind of getting down to what. Mrs. K really is. Okay, so what we're going to cook today okay. is an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes. yes. Okay, and I know oh, that everybody knows surprise, that. Surprise, surprise. Well, I well, well. I and I see Indian people. What is market, she? I think she's street, reptilian. Everyone's like, you know Kamala Harris is Indian, right? It's like our the thing we're so excited about to <laughs> yeah. have you running for president. So we're both Indian, yes. but actually we're both South Indian. Yes. Um, you look like the entire ha- one half of my family. Okay, thank they're all, you. They're all fat and ugly. I've been telling people we're related already, <laughs> yeah. so this is perfect. It's basically true. Uh, and so were you raised eating South Indian food? South Indian food. There you go. So she is Indian. She's Indian. All right. I love Indian food. Done. Let's go. You, like sh- you must like the shit. I actually do, too. No, I think it's delicious. It's really good. I, I, I won't it. eat it. Never had it. No. Never had it. You're racist. That's why. That is. That is why. I know. <laughs> I, call, I mean, it's like called in the kettle black, but he's white. I didn't have it till I actually have like a it's really like calling the Nazi white. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're using Google's AI, to find yeah, it, yeah. Then yeah, that's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have Indian food until I went to college, and uh, got super stoned one night with these guys that I met, and they were like, "Let's go have Indian food," and it was incredible mm-hmm. stoned really? out of my mind 
classical Indian music playing, sitar, tabla, drums, and everything, and I'm eating all this Jesus Christ. crazy food that I've never tasted, and it was like, it was a full-on psychedelic experience. Yeah, like, no, did you guys get naked and fucking get we, in it? We did not, no. <laughs> Man, sounds like you would, that fucking ambiance. It was close. I'm going to stick my was... dick right in the curry. Man. <laughs> all right, let me ask you, uh, you guys, two Indian fan foods. Yes, uh, very, fans very. Of Indian foods, uh, would you eat Indian street food? No. That's a, that's, Hell a, no. that's a hard no for me. I will only eat American Indian food. Right. I wouldn't even eat Indian I mean, food in, in, in England, back, even though it's seeing... supposedly better in England than it is in India. Yeah. But, dude, no way. I I've seen those Indian videos. I food made by Mexicans. I've nah, seen those videos. <laughs> They're basically just washing their hands in, your food. in the food. Yeah. My kids show, show me these videos. They, they, yeah. come across, they come up on their timelines. I like, can't Dad, stop watching them. <laughs> oh, I can't. God. <laughs> it's so bad. Have you seen them? Have you... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Hard no. They are some <laughs> fucking filthy people. I don't man. care what they do in the back, and it, like I just. But if I see it, like, what they're doing in the back's yeah, worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is what they're showing you. I love it. Though. I'm still going to the Himalayan. I don't care. Get my naan bread, my mangalasi. No, I mean I know at, at least in this country you know they're being in- inspected. Right. Yeah. Maybe. Impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Or you just buy the frozen shit and giant. Just pop it in the microwave for there three and a half minutes. It's not yeah. bad. I want to taste the flavor. My kids will not eat it, though. No. They won't. They're... Good for them. <laughs> yeah. They're more base than I am. God bless them. Which I got to say, I think we've mentioned it before. Like, uh, I have high hopes for Generation Alpha. I do, too. I think the pendulum is going to swing back hard. Yeah. Hard. Because <laughs> these kids have been raised with this bullshit. And uh, yeah. they're they're at least my you know my only experience is my kids and the other friends of theirs and younger kids that I've met so far. But they're not they're not buying it. They're Dude, not buying the shit that's been no. going on for the last couple of years. Dude, my my and, son's an, a right wing extremist. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking love it. I learned it by watching you. I'm watching you, Dad. I hate everyone because of you. Who dude, taught dude, you how to do this? Dude, stuff? Then, then he'll like he'll hate people that I didn't even teach him to hate yet. <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck, man? Are you, you're a little prodigy. He's one step ahead of you. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. He's like, you know what? You're right, son. Yeah, this yeah. guy is an asshole. <laughs> we weren't even going to get to that yeah, in a couple was, months. You know, I was waiting on that one, but yeah, you picked it up already. You sniffed it out. <laughs> nice. Hey, he's an overachiever. I he like is. It. Extra credit. I'm sure couldn't be more proud. That's awesome. <laughs> I love mm. it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, like Joe Rogan. Said it uh, a while back. You know, the kids are just throwing the fucking retard word around like it's nothing. Oh yeah, and his kids and and their friends and stuff. The R word is back. Yeah. Yep. So uh, hopefully they bring the F word back. The F word's back. Didn't that guys send you that screenshot of a article about how many times the F word has been used on uh, X yes. in the past yes. couple months? <laughs> it is back hard, but you know some people are still pussyfooting around with it. But I'm seeing a lot of comedians saying it now. Do a lot, plenty of comedians are bringing back the N-word, too. Yeah. I just watched uh, Josh Denny. I don't think I sent you guys the link. Josh Denny. You guys know this guy? He's. I just found out about him recently. Josh Denny. It rings a bell. Uh, glasses, brown hair. He just put up a special. It's on YouTube, but it's on X, too. I got through about the first half of it. He's dropping N-bombs. Nice. In there. like Taking it back. And Taking it back. I think it's great. I mean, yeah. we created the word, and then all of a sudden we can't use it. Exactly. Well, what the fuck, man? Come on. Damn. It'd be like, you know, we can't use anything. We can't use these lights, fucking phones. We created no. all this shit. Yeah. But they said we can't use any of it. Well, it's all been stolen. Everything that white people have ever invented has that's been true. stolen from other people. So yeah. That's how that goes. I learned that on TikTok. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Did you guys see uh, Shane Gillis with the Trump... Uh, Kill Tony. On Kill Tony. Yeah. Yes. Dude, that was yes. so good. That's so good. And Dr. Phil playing Biden. It's yeah. great. Uh, that's that act. That's the comedian. Yeah, who's yeah. the guy's name, though? I, I have no idea. Know. I can't it's remember. I know him as Dr. Phil. Phil. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. I'm like, that's all I know him yeah. at. I don't know. Dr. Phil playing Biden. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Did you see the clip of the guy eating the kidney stone? No. no. From, From that yeah, show? Yeah. Yeah. Ew. He had a comedian up, no, and he was and talking. He was like, "Yeah, I brought my kidney stone. He has it in like a oh, little container." Jar. I think I did. And see they're like, that. "Oh my god, let me see it!" And the first guy at the end of the table grabs it, pops it in, swallows it. Uh, He's like, "Dude, that's never been opened. Stop!" And he just down the hatch. What are they? It's basically 
Mostly it's calcium. calcium built up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you swallow a kidney stone, is it gonna go back? No, it's only it probably breaks to where it, it came from, or is your no, stomach no, it able? It'll just shit it out. Yeah. I never had them. I had ro- I lived with a roommate. Mm, I've had, had them. My, my same my same roommate who I man. told you guys before we started filming used to 20%. use the, the check cashing places. Yeah. Uh. He had kidney stones while I while we lived together. Oh, nice. Um, Oh man, I'm working on it. I felt so be. Yeah, you <laughs> That'll do it. I'll yeah, do it. Get them, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, I had a few of them. And they ain't, ain't fun. <sighs> My brother did. Never. Had I piss. I piss them right out like a fucking man. I'm sure you do. <laughs> yeah. Shoot them right yeah. out. <laughs> shoot them right on my big fucking delicious cock. Uh. Oof. <laughs> I want to hear you shoot one on that gong back behind that. <laughs> that would be, <laughs> that'd be a clip. You just hear screaming followed by dong. Dude, it doesn't hurt to piss them out. It hurts going from your kidney to your bladder. Ooh. It's a tube, and it causes a blockage. Oh, uh, okay. And that's and the the piss we you know backing up in your kidney is what causes the pain. So you really. So by the time that? it gets to the urethra. Yeah, well, when the time it gets into your bladder, doesn't hurt anymore. You just have to piss a lot, yeah. and you just eventually shoot it at your fucking pee hole. It burns a little bit, but it doesn't really hurt. I mean, I guess that depends on the size of it, too. I had a, I pissed out a fucking eight millimeter one. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it, it had a little, it fucking piss sputters like a faucet, and then bink. Imagine catching that in the eye. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, ah, it burns a little bit. <laughs> it's not my kidney stone. That's crazy. Yeah. Did you, ever, you never had them, did you? No, I don't drink tea. You can get them from a lot of shit. I know, I'm just joking because he's drinking tea. <laughs> yeah, what do they say? It, red, but, red, red meat can do it. Um, it's really just it's dietary thing. Yeah. Right, and also, mostly people that get them are predisposed, like hereditary reasons. Yeah. But, yeah. Unfortunately, I've never, never experienced that. Hopefully, you don't. Yeah. It can be a bitch. I'm, I have uh, the saliva gland from football being dehydrated. I got the the stone in my mouth. Saliva stone? Yeah. I still have it into my mouth in this day. Really? You nope. didn't fucking pop it out? Get it removed, man. Wow. Doesn't block the saliva anymore. It just sits there. Let's cut it out. Yeah, it's fucking... I do. I tried. Live on the show. I tried. I had, like, razor blade, everything. Right, like, I, like and I was going <laughs> I was going down, bro, and it just couldn't get through the skin. Go to a doctor, you fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, if it still like bothered me, like it doesn't slashing up the inside of my mouth yeah. with a razor blade. Mm. <laughs> Come on, man! Disinfected it. Yeah, okay. Come yeah, on, I did. Ro- Rosetta Stone. Yeah. Calm down. <laughs> God damn. Anything else you got? Any other physical oddities aside from being fat? <laughs> <laughs> No, That's like fucked a, up. A like, a, like a fucking twelve-inch dick. Does that count? Ooh, Come on, yeah. man! If, if, if you got twelve-inch dick, pull That's it out right now. <laughs> I need to see this. <laughs> it's, not, it's not quite twelve. Pull up that mud flap. If you got a four-inch dick, <laughs> let me see it. I don't believe it. Let me see. It's it. actually seven. But we'll really, all right. Fuck, let's get it out there. <laughs> it's it's not seven the way it's sitting. <laughs> Fuck, get it, work it up, <laughs> fluff it up a little bit, and Bro, put, put it on the table. I literally did that before I came here. I How can't. you gonna like wake up and add five inches to your seven inch? Play that Kamala video again, and then let's see. Yeah, yeah. See if you get hard to that cackle now something nice (laughs) (laughs) yeah what the hell else has been going on uh assassination coup rnc yeah jd vance jd vance is weird by the way he's weird he's so weird (laughs) all these fucking blue and green haired fucking freaks these non-binary cucks are saying he's weird have you guys seen this? This is like a talking point that's going around for the, on the left is that J.D. Vance, the Trump's VP pick, is is weird. Yeah. Huh. The white former Marine who's married, happily married with kids and all that happy horse shit. You mean the He's a weirdo. To an Indian lady. Yeah, to an Indian lady. is fucking weird. He's so weird. He was so weird that Ron Howard made a movie about his life. What a fucking weirdo. Weird. Yeah. I guess, I guess you know, I like he's, he's such a... He's straight. Can you imagine yeah, a straight yeah, white uh, male? <laughs> How fucking weird is that? No, that, that just means they have nothing on them. Oh, <laughs> well, they, yeah. Exactly. That's they it. The, people, the people who yeah. couldn't tell you what a woman is, the people who think, you know, we should teach kindergartners yeah. about the LGBTQIA plus 2S plus P community. Yeah, some, uh, some asshole in a furry suit. These these people think uh, a straight white man with a family, a wife, two kids, who's devoted himself to the country. Weird. Is weird. 
So weird. He's got a beard. How fucking weird is that? It's really weird. You, you sure they didn't? Your say beard he was is weird. weird. He right. might. He might that, wear a guy liner. Is he white? That, they, 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 they might be saying he's white. I mean, he's very white. Oh, well, then that's I do. I do like the meme that says it's got a picture of him next to a picture of Teddy Ruxpin. Nice. That he was like, "This is what happens when you put a Creed tape into a Teddy Ruxpin." <laughs> oh. <laughs> Arms wide open, <laughs> which is pretty fucking good. Yeah, but. So everybody was like, you know, I can't wait for JD to destroy Kamala in the first vice presidential debate. <laughs> yes. Little did we know but she's going to get not, she's going to get an even bigger now. dick record. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I wow. Thought, but I who's mean, Kamala going to pick? Her with like Montel Williams, a black woman, Biden. Montel Williams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> I Montel. pledge to pick a white man as my vice president. It's actually not a bad impression. <laughs> You know, on a real note that I was thinking about this, though, like if, if a woman does get elected to be president one day, there's 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 R.I.P. So, USA. Yeah, there yeah. are so many countries that literally don't value women at all and won't talk no. to her. It's, no. Yeah. We're, do- we're done. Yeah. Like fucking done. There's women are th- useless at everything except sucking dick. I'm saying that right now. Raising no, children. No apologies. Raising children. Sucking dick, cooking, cleaning, raising children. That's it. It's all they're good for. Nurturing. You agree. I can tell. Filthy cum dumpster. <laughs> you told me if I didn't have anything to say to say nothing. You told me. <laughs> you said say nothing. Male feminist. No, you're no, making I'm not me a male say things. Feminist. I'm a, a fagoot. <laughs> fagoot <laughs> Alfredo? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Touche, motherfucker. Yeah. Now nah, I don't I don't know. I don't really get involved in all that shit. <laughs> I do like food, though. Love but there's food. plenty of people. What was that That one clip? I think you showed it to me. Which is it? Um, the On the Street dude who was just talking, which I'm sure this has happened a million times throughout the country. Um, I'm going to vote for Kamala yeah. because she's a black woman. Yeah. Oh, the interview I sent you. Did so that? did you send that to yeah, you? Yeah, that's the, 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 uh, yeah, I sent it to you and Matt. Which is fucking retarded. That's well, how you. That's how sense. you're gonna pick yeah, the leader of the sense. free world, is based on their skin color, which in Kamala's case, lies is not even. It's not even accurate. Not even at. That's not yeah. even accurate. 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 It's, it's accurate. And yeah, her driving an accurate. And her sexual or not her sexuality, her gender. <laughs> that's how you're gonna decide <coughs> who to run the country. <coughs> if I'll you have. if you actually think that if you if you make your decisions. Based on that, I don't think you, you should have the right to fucking vote. No, you shouldn't. I I'm, think your right to vote should be revoked if well, you just, s- just, say something <sighs> as idiotic as that. Just a heads up. I'm voting for Pedro, like Napoleon's best friend. That's who the fuck I'm voting for. Well, I'm voting for Trump and Vance because they're straight white men. Mm. Yes. Swing I like my that Latin dick. brother. Why not? If we're going to play this stupid game. Exactly. That I'm going to vote for people based on the color of their skin and their gender. I'm going to write in Hitler. I'm right. <laughs> Make sure you write Adolf too, just yes. so they're not Adolf Francis Hitler. Yeah, artist. I'm I'm glad in that clip though that 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 guy stepped up and was like, "What, what do you he mean?" He did. Yeah. Like, he like you know it also shows you that like you know the black community, black community isn't just like swarming towards her. Like there's people that are make still making. Yeah, like, the black community is not a monolith, just like any community. You know, I I I cannot wait to see what kind of black numbers Trump puts up. This election, mm. I cannot wait because I feel like it's gonna be historic. Like I really do. You do and, realize they're gonna steal the election? Right? Well, that's what it's got to. So people who are looking at this are like, he's got to be. It can't be like a five point win. It's got to be ten points or up. That's why they pulled. They decided to pull Biden because they knew they couldn't get close enough to cheat with right. Biden. People are saying if it's less it. than ten, it's yeah. stealable. But they can they can gaslight America into saying how great she is and how. So- how yeah. great the polls are for her. Oh, Trump's losing in the polls now. He's really not. Well, yeah, all of a like the second day after she announced, yeah. all of a sudden you see those poll numbers and she, I'm like, the Come the, on, the, the is... woman who couldn't get a single fucking delegate in 2020, <laughs> right? All of a sudden is the greatest thing since fucking sliced bread. All right. Well, somebody I don't know who I heard it from first, but there's a, a hypothesis out there that the Democrats realized they're fucked this year. Yeah. Pull Biden, put in Kamala because she's basically disposable, and they're going to regroup for 2028. 
They know she has no yeah. chance. They're basically set. What are they going to do? They can't pull the first Asian black woman. Yeah, they can't. They have to run her. Yeah. But so, they know there's no chance. So we got Biden out. We'll run Kamala. She'll lose. And then we can have a clean slate. Then they can play in 2020. Gavin, we can play Kevin, Kevin Newsom. Newsom. They all rally around him. That he's a, he's the a actual fucking devil in Devil boy. Yeah, they're yeah. jinx. <laughs> Give me a Coke. <laughs> sorry kenny we just got uh 15 more minutes in there you gotta hold on buddy all right what it looks like you're having a hard time on the couch what do you mean oh is it pee time no i'm actually good i haven't been drinking (laughs) wait this is the first time kenny's ever been sober in the wake guys right i think this is true (laughs) this this girl's really rubbing off on you (laughs) nah just she's a good influence you better drink more I am. I got my second. He's on his one. best behavior. He doesn't right. embarrass himself. No, I'll embarrass myself. Let's oh. pound the rest of that right now. Do it. Oh, do on. it, pussy. I'll do it with you. Drink. Right, you go. Let's go. Is it done? <laughs> nah, I played that shit. And I Come played on. it out. I'm like, I don't, I don't drink like Bro, that. Bro, he's in his 50s. You can't tell him to do you, uh, it. You I'm actually, like, you are voting I'm for still, Kamala, aren't you? He is. I'm not voting for her. You I'm motherfucker. I can feel the estrogen. motherfucker. I'm voting for her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ordering you a mail-in ballot, and I'm going to have it sent to my address, and I'm going nice. to fill it out for fill you. Fill it out. <laughs> and you too. You don't even I'm not vote. even registered, bro. You got to try hard on that. Do it. Why aren't you voting? Huh? Why, if you don't why, vote why, this why election, do vote? we're going to have problems. Why retarded. Why don't you want to vote? I'm not going to vote. Why? Because it doesn't actually matter. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you sure? 100%. All right. Tell me. All right. What just happened with, with Trump? All that. It, it's clear as day that the Dallas <coughs> was all scripted by the Secret Service or in BlackRock. And, like, you know, that wasn't just some random kid like, oh, I'm going to go kill Trump. That was set up. Right. By a higher up. So why do you think so many people in positions of power don't want Trump to be president. That's the question to ask. Yeah, but then you, you talk about, oh, well, he shuts those people down. But Trump can only run for four years. After that, what then what? Then he what? declares himself dictator, and then we never have to vote yes. for anybody yeah, it, ever but, again. But, but, what, yes. but what I'm trying to point out is... Save the country. Like, yes, maybe the country, if I vote... Then for we Trump, build the camps! If I, <laughs> if I vote for Trump and, and the country does get better, like, awesome, great. But at the end of the day, like, dude, like, there's no, I hate in, my, in my in my mind, like, there we we the people actually have no no more power nowadays. Can you just do it as a favor for me? We no, because then I may have to go to jury duty, and I don't want to do that. I, no, I've won't. never had jury duty no. once in my. I've never. Life. I've lived out here for. 14 years now. I've never been called once. Yeah, and never. No, my I life, lived in Philly. The next week. Hey, I'd guess, guess what? I got a summons nah. to jury duty, jury duty like 15, 20 years ago. I ignored it. Nothing happened. All you do is just show up with a swastika written on your forehead. Yeah. And you're dismissed right away. It Start dropping me bombs. Every time I went to Philly and I got called in Philly, I just, with a Sharpie. Email him back with a selfie. You know? It's like, yeah. oh, sorry, I can't attend. That's it. It's the easiest way to get out of the city. Why don't you want to do your civic duty and and be on a jury? Because, like I said, the civic duty doesn't actually hold any power anymore. He's He's a fucking loser. I hate you. Listen, dude. I I, listen. I I I'll come out and say like I I definitely am on Trump train. But at the end, but at the end of the day, like the the votes of the people don't matter. Like we literally just witnessed to happen. Last year, Trump getting cheated out of the how, how many well, right? But how that's why we, that, that's why we need as many as possible this time. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> make it so they can't. The cheat. margin is so great but, that it can't be stolen. But how how can you say that's possible when when he clearly won and it was cheated, and nothing happened? He didn't win by enough. He didn't win. That's what I'm saying. No, but, he didn't, well, like, he didn't win like, by enough. But when when the, the facts it come out, the, it wasn't going to be a landslide. When the facts come out that like oh look how many dead people overnight voted for Biden. You can't. You're, you're seriously that lazy. You can't be bothered to vote. No, but well, I'll, I'll, drive just, I, I, I'll drive I'm, you. I'll drive you and get you and get you McDonald's. Just, I'm, I'm literally just trying to like prove a point, though. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, oh, we're, we're like, oh yeah. Well, if it's so far away, they can't. Who says they can't do anything? Doesn't matter. Go like, vote. You, you know what I mean? Like, well, they, maybe they haven't played all the cards yet. There, no. There, there's a there's a limit to how. But doesn't that doesn't that much? throw you off from the fact of like, all right, yeah, Trump is like what we need for the the country. Yes. Yeah. But at the end of the day, 
those reigning powers are only going to be suppressed for four years, and then it's all back to the same bullshit. You, uh, you know, you know, when things get a lot better for <clears> these four years, it's going to change a lot of people's way of thinking. Yeah, and that's, and it's going to be much harder for them Democrats to regain power again. That's the hope. Throughout those four years, more more minds are cha- are changed. Even some people that have Trump derangement yeah, but, syndrome but after another four years are like, what wait, like I know, like you, you see, you see people coming around all the time. Like, yes, I bought into it. I mean, dude, on Facebook, somebody I posted recently, uh, get ready to go call, call him president again, fuckers. And, uh, this old friend of mine found a Facebook post of mine from 2016, right after the election that was me, my pussy, little shitty liberal ass talking about how this is a dark day for America and how both parties need to look at themselves. How how could we have possibly elected this horrible, sexist, misogynist guy, right? That's, mm-hmm. back, when, that's back when I believed what the media told me about yeah. Trump. That's back when I was still n- didn't have my mind opened to the other side dude i'm like I, i'm not so say, i'm not saying what i'm saying is like is... over if the, over those next four years that's going to happen to even more and more people yeah, as but, yes. but at the same time i wonder how many trump supporters got brainwashed back the other way when mm. the, throughout his entire uh, granted COVID happened but yeah um like he was shit on to the entire world for his four-year term and he did honestly great things but still the media and people f- are brainless and follow the media. We're like, Trump's bad, Trump's bad, Trump's bad. <laughs> <laughs> you put him to sleep, damn it. I'm not voting. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we get back to the funny. We're going uh, we're, we're to come up with a plan. It's, not, it's not happening. Yeah, we're going to. Never going to vote. Yeah. Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Miss Harris. Is it Harrison Ford? I mean, which who's going? Are we doing new uh, Tomb Raider? Or Kamala Indiana Harrison Jones? Ford. Tomb Raider. Yep. Let's go. Mm. Come all over. Oh, boy. A cumin. I think I'm a cumin. I'm a cumin. <laughs> there he is. Oh, back, bitches. Matt fell asleep and Kenny woke up. Ah, <laughs> Drained my power. <laughs> He's leeching onto me. Yes. I'm voting for um, the aliens to come down from, and then, um, yeah. Yeah. After Probe four, you. After four years, the alien overlords are going to take voting, over anyway. So what's the point? There I'm are no for aliens. The <coughs> there are none. No aliens. <coughs> the U.S. I government like, said it was real. Exactly. That's how you know they're not real. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was what finally I was like. That, oh, that okay. was that I was. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> the world was so fucked up at that point in time right. that they're like, oh yeah, by the way, aliens hey guys, are aliens. And like no, it was like I don't give a fuck. Mm, I, like, no, I, I can't pay rent right now, bro. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. How long have we been going? Uh, we've been recording for fifty. Uh, fifty. <laughs> 52 minutes. Sorry, I just had a stroke. Kidney stones in his mouth. Yeah. We'll cut him out for you. Hold on. <laughs> get you. Bring that dirty mouth over. Should we do something nice? <laughs> yeah, get it. Yeah, let's do something nice. Let's open that mm. mouth. Oh, what's that? What's that knife? It's a little leather. We can't show that on YouTube. We're doing something knife. nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite tool, dude. That was a good little uh, multi tool. It's the best. <laughs> Shit, look at that, dude. Yes. A fucking stud. Let you down. Desert you. Never gonna say goodbye. And hurt you. Beautiful. Oh, shit. This BG. Here comes my favorite part. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> Fuck yeah, yes. Bro. Yes. He's got, what do they call those little, like, little, what do they call them? White guys the fuck. And stuff? White guys do karaoke in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Yes. yes. We were alive and we were staying there. I never felt gayer and I loved it. I knew you had some fucking pipes, man. Thanks, I buddy. just I just knew just it. Had it. And that was the first time I experienced them and it was I love karaoke. It, uh all the panties in that place were melted. Oh no. The song choices too. It's, it's, it's Thank amazing. God I was wearing mine because then that's where they got melted. It was so hard. it was like do I pick the Rick Astley or do I pick the Rick James? Yeah. For the nah, I mean Ashley, yeah. Super Freak was great. I don't. I can't pick a favorite. They were all. I've never doing. even seen the, the Rick James clip. No. <laughs> all right, I got it. I'll send it to you. Dude, you yeah. should have wore the same outfit from the beach right now. <laughs> it would have been great. <laughs> if we come back from the cut and you're just wearing that outfit, that'd be good. Mm. I got my new Steely Dan shirt on. Fuck yeah! That was brand yeah. new. Brand new. First time wearing it. Well, let's, go, let's go. Take off with it. You know. You know what record cover that's spoofing. Yeah, Sonic Youth. Yeah, Sonic yeah. Youth Goo. Yeah, that's Raymond my I saw Petty that Bond. Yeah, I had it on cassette too. I still have so the that's a Steely yeah. Dan version. Wow, that's cool. Because fuck Sonic Youth. Why? Uh, Thurston like Moore. Sonic. Yeah, I mean I do too, but Thurston Moore is like I fuck him. Become he's like he's like all, a lot of these old rockers who's like become political now uh, and he's mm-hmm. a fucking cuck and i was like dude ah you just root like this ruins everything i loved your music you're amazing and now you just sound like an idiot yeah. so like i like i can still separate the artist from the art but it, some of them make it really fucking hard they like do. neil young neil young made it really fucking hard doing all that yeah. spotify stuff like i still listen to neil young i still love him but he made it really fucking hard thurston moore makes it really fucking hard he's like Posting AOC videos, really, it's, and I'm like, dude, full and full cock, huh? Oh God! Like, <laughs> wow, I don't get that no. involved in it. Like, but most people are just the people are what do it. The people are retarded. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Like, yeah. Come on, you're the you soundboard. Know, just, that, yeah. I don't know. Like, I just, I just can't with some people <laughs> anymore. Just I, trying to remember. Shut the. <laughs> you know, let's, I drive a. I am the wall. He's gonna well, get there. Come on, man. It's been a long what do you time. Mean? But the people are retarded. Yeah, there and go. so is our producer. <laughs> and so is our young producer. Dude, I forgot that thing even existed. <laughs> and the producer is it's retarded. retarded. <laughs> yeah, he we still we need retired. to make a little map. We should probably update all those. They're right. still, uh, we need some new ones. We uh, definitely. We need a Kamala cackle on oh, there yeah, for sure. Yeah, gotta have that. Fucking some some McGill, We need to get right. some McGillis on there. Like this thing definitely needs to be yeah. updated. Yeah. Yeah. There's some on there I feel like we haven't even used, but maybe not. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. Dude, that's been my new favorite thing to do on TikTok. Every every video I've seen, I'm just like like smoke detector. That's all I'll put. And yep. I'll just get hundreds of likes. Mm-hmm. It, there's it, so, it's many, so many it's videos. It's everywhere. Yeah. I like, unless that I, unless that person like does TikTok for a living and is like extremely professional, every like novice TikTok video. Yeah, there, the beep. It's yeah. there. It's hundred percent. It's insane that you know, some stereotypes are based in a little bit of truth. Yeah, that's one. I mean, when was the last time you changed your nine volt? I got backups. I don't play. Oh, I date you them. You're hardwired. Yeah, I'm. You... No, I I'm very hard. You... And I'm wired. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. When you see my dick. <laughs> Whoa, oh, shit. Wow. Whoa, that's aggressive. <laughs> my nine volts. Wow. Hold up. Now I have backups. I always have backups. Sleeping for the whole episode. My God. Come yeah. in hot. Dick. Been La- saving last, up. last two minutes of the episode, he's fucking ready to rock. <laughs> been saving that all episode. I, like, I just, I just so need my time. I'm just waiting for my up. time. My wow. dick. <laughs> my dick. <laughs> nine, I got a nine volt. Can you say it again? Right on it. Say What's it again. It? Wait, do you see my dick? Is that no? Joke? No, you no. said it. Oh, my dick. Oh, uh, my said, dick. <laughs> <laughs> my dick. <laughs> Wait, do you see my dick? Every time is different. <laughs> <laughs> it's not dick off. Uh, dick. Uh, it's dick. Oh, dick. <laughs> there you go. There it is. <laughs> dick. Man, it. that first one was pure testosterone. <laughs> Man. And without <laughs> any dick, it's all testosterone, no dick. <laughs> 
You not saying Christ. anything to, for the majority of the episode was worth that moment right there. You was. I was safe. I was all backed up yeah. and built up. <laughs> but I'm still mm. short. I'm going to get stretched out for Christmas. Santa Claus Whoa. Coming. Yikes. What the fuck? <laughs> You know, Norm, this has been the game plan for Kenny for a while. Really, really just getting I'm his hidden ex- moments. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Very he, and he just fucking em- nailed Emphasis it. on gay part of the game. Well, yeah. um, you know. You, I'm, so how you, you getting stretched out for Christmas? You said? Yeah, Santa Claus is going to stretch me out. Whoa. All right. Ow. I didn't expect it to come out today, but. <laughs> All right, guys, that's an hour. You taking a job as an elf at the Coventry Mall? Uh, isn't it appropriate, like, and fitting? You fucking jerk. I mean, it'd be pretty great. I mean, it is. That was a good self-burn. I mean, I would probably choose Oompa. We should probably do that for the Christmas episode this year. Yeah. You could be an elf. an elf. I could do an elf, yeah. You buy me the outfit, I'll wear it. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> I ain't wearing that shit. Because I identify as 6'1". I want to be the reindeer. Okay. We got a reindeer. We got an elf. More like a rain queer. Matt's thinking real what? hard if I identify rain as a reindeer. Queer. are. <laughs> <laughs> Inquiry. Look at look at look at Matt's face. He's really deep in thought about if I get the reindeer roll. We should get it, maybe. Are you gonna have a red Sing nose? A snowman. Are you gonna have a red yeah. nose or a brown yeah. nose? And we're we're all gonna do mushrooms. <laughs> That'd be good. Bro. <laughs> we should we yeah. should just set up cameras all the way around and just hit record and yeah. take some mushrooms. We'll just record yeah. ourselves getting fucking <laughs> just whacked out of our minds. Sure. Just trip balls. Yeah. Yeah. All feel, dressed up for for oh, dude, Christmas. Dude, I feel yeah. like Matt would be a very scary person to trip with. No, I'm, I just giggle. All right, because I can't I, stop fucking. No, lying. because I, I could just see you going like complete like marine. Like I'm gonna fucking kill you, and then everyone starts uh, weekend. No <laughs> I've, never, I've never uh-huh. had a bad trip, but if I did, maybe I don't know. He's gonna be a teddy bear, and he's gonna be I'll a teddy. So he'd be the first one to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd, I'd probably just die. I'm gonna yeah. fucking rape you to death. Like I would just die. I can't even. Can't even do the <laughs> normal shit. <laughs> At least I want it going out like a liberal. I mean, yeah. Well, that's kind of a liberal way to go out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially with no reach around. Yep. Mm-hmm. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Something to look forward to the next White Guys Christmas special. JoJo gets raped up. to death. And it's JoJo gets a, raped it's to death. It's definitely going to be a white Christmas. It year. will be. Oh, it's the only way of the Christmas. What do you want, a black Christmas? Well, what does that look that like? That is called Kwanzaa, sir. Well, I mean, that's, that's so dirty. <laughs> Which Kamala celebrates? Of course remember, she does. Back in the well, if she's black, last... she's doing um, Kwanzaa. No, she should be doing Diwali or whatever that. Yeah, That's the festival of lights she in India. Identify right. as what she is anymore. Right. So she's doing Kwanzaa. She's doing Kwanzaa. She's chameleon. She'll celebrate, yeah. celebrate what she wants. That's right. All of them. Do what I want. Yeah. Do what I want when I want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what I sw- celebrate there, JoJo? Shut the fuck up. Do you know yes. What I celebrate? <laughs> Sorry. I know where that one's at. Um, Gay Uncle Day. No. That's your. That's coming up in August. That's in August. Is that a thing? No, it's just for you. Yeah, yeah. Gay Uncle. uncle day? Kenny, mm-hmm. can you be my uncle for one day? <laughs> Don't expect anything from the front. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reach arounds. <laughs> Come on, be a good uncle. Yeah, dude. Yeah, come on. Because I can't touch him in a no no space. Don't be can't reach Of course you can. Because you can't you reach it. You don't think gay uncles are sexually You don't think his buttholes are no no They're nieces and nephews. Of course they are. nothing to do with him. He's fucking four cheeseburgers in one sitting. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> oh. it's a lot. When's the last time you had four of them? Uh, the last time I had McDonald's was. And nuggets. The next time you're going to have it is election day. Oh, are you going to bribe me with fucking McDonald's yeah, to yeah. vote? Get, Get to find your five burgers. Five All burgers, right, listen. Eight. I'll double your regular order. Treat me nice, baby, and we can talk about it. There we go. See, it's I know nice. how to treat a man nice. Yeah. I want hookers, sure does. blow, and McDonald's. I, I got you. I got you. Don't right. worry about that. All right, well, guys, we heard it first. There yeah. we go. One more vote for Trump. <laughs> Fucking finally. But he's going to fucking vote for Kamala, so you're going to cancel each other out anyway. Yeah. So maybe you're yeah. right. It doesn't matter. We can just drug him. Maybe. He'll just miss it. Oh, yeah. We're tying him up. I'll just tell him it's the next day. <laughs> he's like, like oh, Norm, yeah. Norm, when are we supposed to vote? Oh, it's tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Done. We'll see. No, I think we should all go together. We'll all, we'll all hit 
We'll do a little video of all the different polling places. No, we should do the oh, ili- we should do the illegal thing. We're like, all right, <coughs> you reach into my booth, I'll reach in yours. Ready? Go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's click each other's ballots. He's, re- mm. he's reaching into the wrong booth. That's not a lever you're pulling. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say booth. It's weird. Mine doesn't have a lot. Le- nope, just that. Yep, you're supposed to pull that one down. <laughs> Mine has a button. It's, it's kind of weird. It's going up now. <laughs> Anybody got anything else? Or should we? <sighs> no, I think we blew off some well-needed steam now. Abort this episode. Yeah, I'm good. Let's abort this fucker. Let's abort it. Let's kill it. Bye, everybody. Have fun in the fucking funnies. Wake up!